passed out this map to people who were here today for the meeting. The fire grew 1,500 acres just today. It started south down here and moved upward up to 8,500 acres, causing evacuations right here. We've evacuated six times, so it, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wait and see game, just like you know, they, they don't know what the fire is going to do tonight. As the cellar fire grows to 8,500 acres, people in the community learned more about how crews plan to fight the flames. We're hoping to be to have this you know, completed and to a point where our values at risk are mitigated um, in less than 14 days, 10 days um, is our goal. You can see smoke from Sunset Point. Crews say it will be several days before people in Pine Flat are out of danger. Several other communities should be prepared in case they need to evacuate. Farther up to the north and northwest of that location, uh, we have several homes up at the top of uh, Mount Tridal, and as you go down into Groom Creek and in the communities of Walker. He says a large portion of the Bradshaw Mountain area is closed for visitors. Crews say this fire is tough to fight because the area is remote, tough to get to. People who live nearby are staying hopeful. It's stressful on every, everything that we have worked for and, and um, you know, saved and pinched to get. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of tough, but, you know, we, we have our animals and we got everybody safe and nobody's, nobody's dead, <laughs> so we're, we're good. There are some branches down here further south that they're keeping an eye on. They say they're okay now, but they do plan to use aircraft to help fight the fire down here tomorrow. For people who were evacuated, there is a shelter for them at Prescott High School. Live in Prescott Valley, I'm Brittany Thomason for Arizona's Family.